Hey guys, so uh, it's February and I headed back out to the parents and gotta pull the old snowmobile out and sell that. Well, it's already sold, I just gotta pull it out. But, um, I found out something, I don't know, if I want to say interesting, but I found out that my truck now runs fine. After I sold it for $250. I could fucking kill right now. That's what this all thing. I could literally probably kill the guy. I, you know, I should just be <clears throat> mad at myself, I guess. Simply because it's my fault. I should have made sure, you know, I should have known it was, if it was running good or bad. But it was running bad when it left. I mean, it, you know, it was, he said it got back to the house uh, all the way up in Spencer, which is 30 miles away, just fine. It got up to 65 miles an hour and cruised at 65 all the way there. Uh, man, life just keeps punching me in the fucking gut, you know? I'm just so sick of this shit. I thought that, I knew I was letting the price down quite a bit, you know, I was really just, I didn't even make enough to, or get enough to pay off what I owe on the repairs. And here he's like, oh yeah, the truck is really nice, it runs beautiful, and I'm like, you want to die, you, you want to die, you, you're telling me that shit. Whatever. video yesterday, you know, I never should have pulled it, put that up, I really shouldn't, I probably should just take it down, I just, you know, everything kind of hit the shit fan at once, and that's what happens, I was selling my truck just to help, you know, with the bills and make money and everything, and, uh, but I gotta pay off the Hair costs, and that's another thing. He told me one time, he told me 250, and now he's telling me 300. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm just gonna wait until the stone bill is gone, and I'm gonna stop back out there and come home and talk to him. I've never been good at talking to mechanics, so they're always they always seem kind of uh, like a snake, you know. Never get the honest answer out of it. And the guy I sold the truck to said flat out, he's like, oh yeah, there is a manifold leak, sure. And I knew it. I told both the first mechanic and the second mechanic that there was a manifold leak. And you could hear it. And they're like, oh no, no, that's nothing to worry about. There's no manifold leak. Oh. And I was like, and then the guy I sold it to text me back, he's like, oh yeah, there's a manifold, like a pretty big one too. What the fuck? Oh man, I'm just gonna go move into a cabin in the woods somewhere, hide out for 10 years. And then I get behind some slow asshole, going 45. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna freaking lose it. Finally got her out. The old Jag, 300 cc. Needs a little bit of work though. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be doing an old start, cold start on this old thing. But the guy I sold it to, he is really interested in it. He really wanted it. So I was like, you know, 
it's just collecting dust literally and um, you know we only paid I think 30 or 40 dollars for it it's still ran and everything but the uh, either the magneto or the coil went on I'm not sure which I know there's I'm not sure if it's a magneto I don't know but um, we lost all spark and um, we just never got it repaired and my dad has been tinkering with it for 15 20 years now and he keeps losing parts to it and I told the guy I'm like if you get it out of here I'll give it to you for 50 bucks I just want somebody else to enjoy it and so he's gonna <clears throat> he's on his way here now um, he was gonna buy my truck which is now gone I don't want to talk about it but um he wasn't sure if the engine would fit or if his engine would fit in my frame so he backed out of it but yeah it's a good old sled I had it running a couple of times and um she really got up to speed quick I'll say that it's got, it's, it still has good compression yet uh it turns over but yeah she uh, needs a cleaning I'm not about to do that I don't want to fuck with that right now you know, it doesn't look too bad, actually, considering. Remember my dad and I, we found it um, behind a barn. Uh, and it was just the guy, he's like, you know, can you make me an offer on it? And we did, and he took it. But, yeah, he won't catch me. I I'm done with carbureted machines, except for my ATV. That's the only thing, that's the only carbureted machine that has treated me good. That's it, you know. Um, other than that, no. This sled right here, I'm gonna get rid of too. I have no use for it anymore. It's carbureted too, and I hate it. I mean, it's got a lot of power, but it, you guys already know, but it's really hard to start, so I'm done with it. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna put the money into it anymore. I'm gonna buy myself a, Nice sled for like two or three grand when I get the money and um, fuel injected. That's the only way to go right now. So, well, I sold the snowmobile. It's gone, but uh, right in the middle of when we were loading it, and this is something that happens all the time with my dad. Um, he, well, we had talked about it yesterday, and he agreed that I could sell and keep the money. And um, you know, my dad's getting old, he's getting a little senile, and he came back today, and he flipped his shit. He just started screaming and hollering at the guy loading up the, at the guy loading up the uh, snowmobile, and he um, tried to pull the snowmobile off the trailer, and it just went ballistic. It was, uh, it was quite a scene. So I um, tried to calm him down, and I'm like, Dad, we talked about this yesterday. You were fine with it. I go, remember when I sold the truck, I went in, I talked to you, said that there was a guy that was interested in buying a um, snowmobile. I said, well, this is the guy. And he's like, oh, I ain't gonna, that's not for sale. No, I know. So I finally was like, you know, we just lost all our tax money. And I'm trying to talk to him calmly, and he's screaming. And um, yeah, it's all kinds of fucked up. But he's like, he's just starting, and he started hitting me. And I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna hit him back because he's old and everything. But that old fart can still hit pretty hard. I'll say that. So he drove. He left in a freaking rage, and. Um, I helped, I apologized to the guy and I loaded up the snowmobile. He's like, my dad is the same way he goes. My dad is 84, and, or his dad is 84, my dad is 74. And um, he's just like, he goes, one day he'll agree to something, the next day he won't even know that he agreed to it. And I'm like, that's exactly what I have to go through. Every day is a, is a you know, soap opera with my dad. And, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't fun. And so now he's all pissed off. You know, it's weird thing is, he can't remember if he agreed to sell something, but he can hold a grudge on it for months. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And it's not like I'm going out and I'm getting drunk with the money or anything. I'm going, I'm trying to help my family. You know, I'm making whatever money I can to put gas in the vehicle and keep food on the table. So, yeah, it was, um, it wasn't fun. It was hard to handle. Hard to watch. Little man, he was right in the middle of it. He was hugging my leg and my dad just started going ballistic. I was so scared he was going to hurt 
way home from Marshfield now and uh, bought Jack a little sword for a dollar. So he's been beating me up with it. Never should have bought it for him. Um, yeah, not much else, you know. I'm just going home. I gotta clean up the yard and got Amanda a gift. I don't know if she deserves it. Her little attitude almost got her asses evicted. I have to talk to her about that. She can no longer call the um, landlord. That was, yeah, well, everything's kind of been piled up on her shoulders with, you know, no tax return and all this money gone and everything. And then they call up and demanding money. I didn't even know. Uh, never mind. Whatever. All right, guys. So I'm on my way home now. Oh, actually, I'm almost home already. Jack, I bought Jack a sword for a dollar or so. He's loving that. Slapped a, slapped me in the face a couple of times, and we were walking across the aisle in Walmart, and he smacks, uh, you know, this chick was walking past, and he smacked her in the face. I was like, oh my god, I am so sorry, you know? and she just starts laughing. I'm like, oh my god, you know, it's the long, it's got a long, it's long, you know, and she's like, oh, it's funny, it was really cute. And she's like, I kind of saw it coming. I was like, okay, all right. Sorry though, you know, I felt bad. So yeah, but I also got Amanda a gift here. Oh, it's in the back. I'll show you guys in the house. Hey guys, well, I am uh, currently driving to the parents. I'm gonna go jump on a wheeler and go for a ride, I think. Um, it is February 17th, a beautiful warm day out, about 25 degrees. I can't believe I'm saying it's warm, but with the weather we've had lately, yeah, it is warm. So, so I figure, like, what the hell? Let's go for a ride, have some fun. Um, I haven't been out on the river in quite a I, while. Um, I did stumble on something cool. I remember uh, a couple. Well, you know, last summer I made a video about a railroad car that was down at the bottom of this gully, or you know, off the side of the railroad tracks, and um, I just currently got new information on. Uh, what was it? it was yes, well, yesterday and this morning, I stumbled upon this Facebook page that this guy runs. He's a um, what do they call him? historian, and uh, he runs this page that is all the history of in the area, Stratford, Edgar, Fenwood, stuff like that. And he's got amazing photos of the area in like 1860 and 1870 and. You know, 1880, 1890, stuff like that. And um, there's actual pictures of the rural trust, so where it's still up. And uh, you know, and these, I'm like, hey, you know, whatever happened? How did railroad car ever get down on the side of the railroad tracks there? And, told me that there was a major derailment like in 1930 I think and that car was deemed um, unsalvageable and so they just left it there uh, I guess they left most of the train cars down there for a year because they were waiting for winter because I guess it would have been easier I don't know how, how that would have worked but amazing stuff um, I'll have to, I'm going to probably share some pictures with you guys on this video i don't know if any of you are really interested in my neck of the woods but i just think it's kind of cool so all right let's go ride it all right i am an idiot drove all the way out here and i forgot my four-wheeler key after that big fight with me and my dad i decided you know probably best not to leave my key there and i left it on my van um my van keychain and I'm not driving the van so now I gotta drive all the way back to Stratford and get the key what a crock of shit that's already five to three now god damn it.
All right, guys, the reason... All right, guys, the reason I stopped here is because this is the original train truss right here. If you can look up there, I'm pointing right at it. Let's spread across over there. Well, I wanted to take some pictures and stitch the old with the new, but I don't think it's going to work because there's just too much, you know, too many trees in the way. You can't hardly tell. Oh, what the hell. Let's try it anyway. All right, well, I think I got it. I don't know. It's going to be some work with all these trees. Yeah, it's crazy on that picture. There's no trees. It is barren. So everything you see behind me, all of it, was logged off. Uh, that would have been around 1890. So, yeah, this is all probably third or fourth uh, growth. Maybe even more. I don't know. Let's go ride some more. down there and see how stable it is. Not worth it.
<laughs> I heard something out there. Don't leave me. Hey, buddy. He's like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> Hope not. Oh, don't lose, don't forget your earpiece. Let's see, I better put that back in now. I was gonna struggle, but I'm gonna go back in and put long guns down first. It's too cold out here. Okay. Great, 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 yep, I'll see you later on uh, tomorrow. Call me about noon. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you gonna stop in and get that on the way back? On the way home, home yeah. Because I got I got a Valentine's thing for as Oh, okay. I'll be right, I'll be back in like a half an hour or so.
Oh, we made it. Oh, boy, oh, boy.